As pro-lifers rally around the country, graphic and shocking new evidence of Planned Parenthood's alleged exploitation of aborted fetuses. This is Special Report. Good evening. Welcome to Washington. I'm Brett Baer. What has been a very bad summer for Planned Parenthood is a lot worse tonight. As pro-life groups gathering across the nation demand an end to federal funding of the organization, a third and the most graphic undercover video is shocking even hardcore abortion foes. We have Fox team coverage tonight. David Lee Miller in New York on the increasingly strained relationship between Planned Parenthood and its corporate sponsors. But we begin with Chief Legal Correspondent Shannon Bream with more video Planned Parenthood and pro-choice advocates do not want you to see. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Brett. Well, we have to warn our viewers first up front that this newest video contains graphic images of aborted fetal body parts. Some of you will find that disturbing. In more than 60 U.S. cities, pro-life advocates rallied to call for investigations into recent allegations regarding Planned Parenthood's harvesting and transfer of aborted fetal remains, along with pressure on lawmakers to follow through on pledges to defund the organization. It is necessary for people of faith and people who have morals and values that made this into a great nation to stand up and be counted. A new undercover clip provided today by the Center for Medical Progress shows a tissue procurement buyer inside a clinic talking to a doctor about pricing for parts and organs from a fetus that was just over 11 weeks into a pregnancy. That 11.6 was pretty good. There was, yeah, I mean, there was like three or four samples we could have taken out of the 11.6. So that would be, you know, if we were doing like, you know, 50 to 75 per specimen, that would be like 200 to 300, and we'd become with that. But like, so it's like stuff like this, like we don't want to be like just a flat fee of like 200 and then yeah, it's like. <laughs> no, and you know, the, yeah. uh, I, I think that I think the per item thing works a little better just because we can see how much we can get out of it. Planned Parenthood has always maintained that it does accept funds as reimbursement for things like the cost of transferring the fetal remains, but says it has never profited from the transfers and has done nothing illegal. Questions about profit do arise with a look at companies that provide fetal remains for purchase. The online ordering system for STEM Express, one of the companies that reportedly does business with Planned Parenthood affiliates, shows pricing for fetal livers ranging from $488 to more than $24,000, in contrast to quotes by Planned Parenthood affiliated doctors of $30 to $100 per specimen. STEM Express says it, quote, prides itself on complying with all laws. Despite the controversy sparked by the videos, today a pollster hired by Planned Parenthood's political arm said average Americans don't care. This is not a topic that people are, are following with rapt attention, and the, to the extent people are, they tend to be Republicans who are sort of inside the Fox News bu bubble. This new video today also contains the testimonial of a woman who says she was hired by STEM Express to work inside a Planned Parenthood clinic. She claimed she thought she would be drawing blood. She says she wasn't told before she arrived on site that she would be harvesting fetal organs and body parts and fainted on her very first day, Brett. Amazing. So what is the latest on GOP lawmakers' efforts to defund Planned Parenthood? There are a couple of tracks going, one in the House, one in the Senate. Um, there is a standalone measure that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has fast-tracked in the Senate. He's taken some heat, though, because there were conservatives who wanted to see it as an amendment to the highway bill. This way, it's going to have to get through a couple of 60-vote threshold procedural votes before it can move forward. But last, we were told Senator Rand Paul and Joni Ernst, both Republicans, of course, would be meeting in the majority leader's office today to kind of hammer out the plan for moving forward. Okay, Shannon, thank you. Well, even though Planned Parenthood has received billions from taxpayers, it still solicits funding from individuals like you and from big corporate sponsors, like perhaps the companies some of you work for. But correspondent David Lee Miller tells us from New York, some corporations are now running away from the abortion provider as fast as they can. 
The controversy embroiling Planned Parenthood could cost the organization millions of dollars in corporate contributions. While it's too soon to calculate a dollar amount, some marketing experts say corporate America will want to distance itself from the organization following recent revelations. Planned Parenthood has an enormous problem. They're, they're realizing that this is not going to go away. The organization recently removed from its website a list of corporate donors after some companies complained they were erroneously named or mischaracterized. Among them, Xerox. A Xerox spokesman told Fox, quote, we have not contributed to Planned Parenthood, adding that corporate records were checked going back 20 years. Planned Parenthood also listed Coca-Cola on its list of donors, but a statement from the soft drink company said, quote, Coca-Cola does not give to Planned Parenthood, nor does it match gifts to the organization from employees. So far, no company has publicly changed its policy regarding corporate donations to Planned Parenthood. During a conference call this afternoon with reporters, the organization said it's coping with the fallout of the bad publicity. We have not had uh, any kind of widespread uh, pushback from any of the corporations who support us. In addition to removing the list of companies providing financial support, Planned Parenthood's website no longer urges donors to take advantage of corporate matching programs. A spokesman for Macy's said it will match employee contributions to any nonprofit that meets IRS requirements, including Planned Parenthood. But the department store chain says matching contributions for Planned Parenthood account for less than 1% of all matching donations. Marketing expert Fraser Seitel says in the wake of the controversy, corporations will be less likely to be directly supportive. They're going to take the path of least resistance, which means if they don't donate to Planned Parenthood, they're not going to start. Republican presidential candidate Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal is now calling on all corporations to stop funding Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood, meanwhile, is fighting back. The organization has now hired an influential Washington public relations firm. Brett. David Lee Miller in New York. David Lee, thank you.